Is that you, John Wayne? Mort? Are you there? Mort? Yes, Amy, I'm here. Just lower your voice a little. What is it? Where have you been? I have been trying to get hold of you all night and this morning. I was asleep. Oh, great. So you unplugged the phone? How may I assist you, Amy? Oh, God, Mort. What happened? What? Someone burned down our house. That's what happened, okay? What? Pardon me, miss. I noticed that you uh, left $100 on the dresser. Well, surely the escort service told you that I was three. Please. I mean, some guys are less. Some guys are 100, if you like that kind of thing. Some guys are even less than that. But I'm three. I happen to be three. There's something on your mouth just there. Bye. Yes, we are. We were the owners. Were the owners? What do you mean? You don't own it anymore? We're Mr. and Mrs. Rainey, are the owners. I'm Stephen Bradley. I'm a detective with Riverdale PD. How you do, Ted Milner? This is Fire Chief Wickersham. Chief? Hi. We won't keep you long. The insurance investigator needs to see you in the city at 3. You're definitely the victims of arson. The fire was started by an incendiary device made uh, with a champagne bottle and a couple of quarts of plain old gasoline. Well, that really works, then, eh? So first question, enemies, you got any? No, no one. No, no, not a soul. Bother you if I answer one or two of these, Ted? It's OK. It's cool. Yeah. I have an enemy. Sorry I wasn't there to meet you this morning. I spent most of last night poking around the site with a flashlight with a Polaroid. Oops. I broke one of my own rules. I don't like to call it the site. It wasn't a site. It was a house, your house. And I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you very much, Mrs. Evans. That still says Mrs. Fran is fine. These meetings are hard. People in your situation are already upset. And quite often, they take the presence of an investigator as an accusation that they've torched their own property. And in this case, you've certainly given us a plausible suspect who will investigate aggressively along with the police. But in the meantime, that's a list of your claimed insurable property. You look it over, then you'll sign an affidavit swearing that the listed items still belong to you and that they were still in the house when the fire occurred. I'm told there was a separation of residents recently, so that last bit might be particularly important. We're going through a divorce. It's not final yet. Well, the settlement agreement's all done. Um, everything's been negotiated. We're just waiting for it to be signed by um, both parties. I moved out about six months ago and just Hadn't gotten around to hauling all this stuff out yet, so. Been down that road. It sucks. These things just have to follow their natural course. Things will wrap up when everybody's ready for that to happen. That's been my feeling. In the meantime, do the best you can with the list. Thanks. I'm sorry, excuse me. Do you actually intend to rubberneck? I hardly think my concern could be construed as rubbernecking. Amy, he's rubbernecking. Okay. I'm not going to freak out about this, but I... I'm the hell's the point? Okay. This is our stuff. I'm just trying okay. to be helpful. No, no, it's no, ours to understand right, why right, we're right. right. here. This is our oh, stuff. No, he's right. He's right, Ted. He is right, Mr. Milner. The law says that you have no right to be looking at the listed items at all. We wink at something like this if nobody minds, but it looks like Mr. Rainey does. Yes. Mr. Rainey minds a lot. Matters if I uh, took a walk around the block. Yes, thanks. Sure. 
Oh, heck, Ted, live a little. Make it two. Rubbernecker. Mort, wait, Mort, I need to ask you something. What? This guy, Shooter, his story, I mean, is this situation, is it like the other time? Oh. I'm sorry, I wouldn't bring it up, but it did happen once before. Look, that is the only time I've ever done anything remotely like that. I paid the guy everything he wanted. Never happened before or since. Okay. 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 You mean? What? You and me and the lawyers are the only people that know about that, right? Right. Because you haven't said anything to Ted, certainly not. No. Have you said something to Ted? Come on. Well, do I have time or what? Yes, you do. I'm real sorry you had to miss that. I know how much you like my things. Oh, Jesus. You and me are going to have a little talk. Be back in 10 minutes. I'm in trouble. I've had about enough of your bullshit. You're a dick. Do you feel better? Yes, I do. Yeah, look, uh, marriage is in. I'm sorry, but uh, I didn't end yours. You know, it was done by the time I got there. Oh, really? I must have thought her wedding ring was a little bit strange. Oh, man, I, listen, I apologized to you months ago. Now, look, I know you don't want me in your life. Guess what? I don't want you in mine either, but until this little divorce thing's done, not much we can do about it. But I'll tell you something. I will not let you upset Amy any more than you already have. So why don't we just wrap this little thing up, all right, and get out of each other's lives? Are we uh, getting the message I'm sending? Where are we from, Teddy? Uh, Tennessee. Morty. I was going to say Mississippi. No. Long way from there, a little place called Shooter's Bay. <laughs>